in this speech is A, I'm an animal lover, B, I'm an artist, and C, I'm very academically driven. Um, now, while many students at one point or another have tried to use the old cliche of my dog ate my homework, I never really tried that because I didn't need to. Uh, for myself, I had standards. Until, of course, my cat actually tried to eat my homework. <laughs> um, you know, pets, pets are great. They have many life-enriching benefits. But, you know, they can be kind of hazardous to things in our lives, particularly, you know, furniture, clothes, or paper <coughs> products. Um, but kind of why is this? You know, pets, animals, and stuff, they're just like us when they're little. They're learning about textures and objects. So, you know, when you see a baby shoving things in its mouth, it's because it's learning about the world around them. So, what does she have to do with this? Well, in August of 1995, I decided that I really was missing having a cat. And uh, so, used the whole, Dad, you love me and everything like that, so you're going to get me a kitten. You know, we already had a dog, but, you know, I wanted a kitten. And I was crazy about her when we got her. You know, she was a princess in every way. We even named her Princess Jasmine. Uh, of course, yeah, we wanted to name her Princess Guinevere, but, you know, my parents didn't have a thing for medieval stuff like I did. So, Jasmine stuck. So, while I was, you know, really building a relationship with Jazzy, my art career kind of sort of took off. Um, you know, ever since I was little, I was always drawing, always coloring, you know, in church, in the bathroom, in bed, under the bed sometimes, you know, just always drawing. So I started taking art, and in my senior year of high school, we got an assignment that most of my classmates really hated, but I kind of liked. But the assignment was to replicate a piece of modern art in the form of pointillism. Those of you who don't know what pointillism is, it's where you use many itty bitty little dots to make up an image. Kind of think pixels in a photograph, only you're applying each and every one of these wonderful little dots. It's great. Uh, during this time of getting this assignment, um, my cat was going through her paper chewing phase. You know, magazines, newspapers, regular paper, photographs. So, um, you know, as I'm working on this assignment, I uh, wake up one night and I hear this paper chewing. And I get up in the morning and I have that, oh dear God, I'm screwed. But really, it was more like, I'm fudged. That's it. My life is over. And on my way to art class, I, I mean, I'm normally like the first person in class. And you know, I was dragging my feet as much as I possibly could, hoping for an act of God. Uh, and as I'm turning in this assignment, my teacher looks at me and says, what the hell, Land of Elf? This is an awesome piece of work. What'd you do? And, you know, being honest and truthful and everything like that, in my mind, my academic career is now blowing up as the words, my cat ate my home. So, the life lesson is that honesty can be the best policy, but, um, you know, if you're honest, even your teacher will believe that your cat ate your home. Thank you.